Hi, this is Tudor P, and this is Word Origins 324. The word origin today is digress. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. If a person digresses from a subject, he or she starts to talk or write about something else. Basically, one has somewhat gone off the main topic, subject, or point. One started to go off on a tangent. So that's what we mean, go off on a tangent also means to go off the main subject that you're talking about. Or we have the second meaning here, or it could mean to, to wander from a direct course that you're supposed to be following. All right, let's continue. The term derives directly from the Latin term digressus, uh, meaning to go aside or deviate or depart from, which makes perfect sense. To break it down further, de or dis means apart or aside from. The gradi means to walk, step, or go. So the phrase, I digress, you know, especially in regard to like a conversation, which is used a lot today, it's become very popular again. Uh, often when I'm watching talk shows or political shows or on the internet, you often hear people say, I digress, because they realize they talk too much about something. Uh, digress uh, dates back to the 1500s. Okay, so now we got five examples to show just how it's used. Here's the first one. I digress. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get off topic. All right, number two. When one realizes that he or she has gone off topic and perhaps said too much or expressed unpopular opinions, they often say, I digress, to get back on topic. You know, so right after they say, I digress, they, they're saying, all right, let's get back to the main topic again. All right, number three. Um, this is digressing from the main point, so we could use it that way as a regular verb. Let's get back on topic. Good. Number four, I'm sorry, I digress. What were we talking about? Maybe you talk so much about something else you forgot what you were originally talking about. Uh, number five, when hiking up that mountain, do not digress from the path. So this is the literal one. Don't go off course. Okay, anyway, hope you got it. Hope it's clear. Hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.